What up, Mugman Nation? I'm back at it again with Converge. I don't know why I called it Convergence in my last video. I kind of like that name better, but you know what? Just so there's no confusion, I'm going to say Converge this entire video. Today, we are doing the Cuphead DLC with Converge, uh, con con Converge only. Will this be easy peasy or will Chef Salt Baker be cringe? Let's just jump straight in, guys. I'm going to get started. Like and subscribe. We are starting off with the old Glumstone the Giant. And in my opinion, this is is one of the harder bosses of the dlc it always gives me trouble during these challenges but converge man it was light work usually i have trouble with these little gnomes but converge took care of those little annoying pipsqueaks they just one shot them on and it was so nice even during the second phase he makes light work of all those front flipping pipsqueaks man like these gnomes are nothing when you use converge and this so far this run isn't too bad i'm liking this weapon and then i get down to one hp can i clutch this out guys let me know Oh, I couldn't, I can't see in that corner. I need to, I need to stop going in the corner. I gotta stay in the middle. That's the plan. The first phase was easy, so I'm just gonna skip right over it. I just had to conquer the second phase, but Converge is so good at taking care of the little dumb gnomes that I actually finished it on my second try. This weapon is really good for this boss. I just stood in the middle and kept shooting, and that's all I had to do. Let's go. The weapon did the rest. It's like the level played itself. The third phase is easy. Just parry the bell and watch the projectile. In true Mugman Nation fashion, I, of course, I am down to one HP, and all I have is one HP and a dream. Let's see if we can clutch out Glumps of the Giant on our second try. Tried. This boss is famous for giving me trouble. Let's go! Yeah, dude, Converge is so good. You just have problems with that boss because I just don't have anything equipped. But Converge, I don't know why I keep calling it Converge. It's Converge, but dude, Converge is goaded, dude. Wow. I slept on this weapon for way too long. Mortimer trash. Freeze. I just love the design of this boss. I love wizards. Something about minions in Converge just go hand in hand. If you use Converge, any boss with minions, it won't give you any trouble at all. This weapon is so versatile and can be used in so many good situations. I love it. It's especially good for this boss because you just have to focus on dodging. The minions are nothing and you just keep converging on him. It's really easy to aim with this weapon in my opinion, except for the first phase. I think it's a little hard because he moves run a lot but the second phase is where this weapon really shines it takes care of the popsicles quickly and nicely you just stand still and let your bullets Dude, converge popsicle. all over him converge all over this guy all over him cover him cover him and converge do tons of damage guys sadly not even converge can stop me from getting down to one hp guys all i have to my name is one hp and a dream and we are entering in my opinion the hardest phase of this fight on expert and i tell you what guys i literally played the best cuphead of my life eyeballs i dodge those ice cream cones i eat those little buckets don't make me laugh man i dodge those with ease i guess i'm actually getting pretty good at this game doing these challenges i, I don't know how i'd survive but hey first try in with only one hp baby let's go Woo let's go that was too clutch that was some of the best cup I've ever played in my life! Oh! It's my favorite girl, Sergeant O'Fara, my road dog for life. Arf, arf, am I right, fellas? Convergence is insanely goaded for this boss. Probably the best out of any boss in the DLC. I feel like I've said this about every boss, but this time, guys, I really mean it. Trust me. It takes out the fire hydrant minions, and for a lot of the fight, I just stand still, dodge those tennis balls, and converge all over this bulldog. And that's good, because I want to do the maximum amount of dps and even if you're not converging all three bullets of the converge will hit the bulldog most of the time so you just be doing maximum dps like the, the entire fight and that's amazing because we want to finish phase one and phase two as fast as possible so oh, we I'm can see in. our girl arf arf i'm absolutely locked in right now Phase 2 convergence is even better than the first. In my opinion, the issue with this level is the fact that the dogs are, are kind of hard to hit. You know, they move around a lot. But converge makes it easy. This weapon has unlimited range and it spreads out. I would just kind of hit fire, you know, until one of them turned gray and then target that one because I did not want the secret phase. In my opinion, the secret phase is really hard and it's just something I didn't want to deal with. But hey, we get through phase 2 easily. Like It's pretty, pretty simple, you know? Phase 3, it's even better. And at some point, you were able to shoot two laser 
lasers at the same time for maximum DPS. I'm not sure if it counts both targets, but hey, I'm just going to assume it does because, you know, that just makes sense, right? And then for the dog bulls, you're able to stand right underneath Sergeant O'Fara as close to her as possible, which should, which is, you know, it's my life's dream. And I just fire, con I just fire the converge right underneath her and all three beams should hit for maximum damage. And yeah, just dodge the dog bulls, dodge her lasers, and Sergeant O'Fara should not be an issue. Arf, arf, woof, woof. You feel me? We, we clear this boss easily. First try, baby. Let's go. And we, we have more than one HP. Woohoo. Let's go, dude. I think I might have S-ranked that, but I took one HP. That was first try, dude. First try. It's time for the Moonshine Mob. My second favorite girl in this game next to Sergeant O'Fara is in this boss. It's the little bug with the giant caboose. If you didn't know, I really love her so much. I know I said the last boss, it was probably the best, but I actually didn't mean it. I think that Converge is actually the best for the Moonshine Mob. You have unlimited range, so it does not matter which platform you are on. The first, the second, or the third platform, and it takes care of every minion so it shouldn't be an issue at all no matter where the spider goes i am able just to converge all over him the second phase is even better you just see it on the left or the right side and just spam converge the only time i had to move is when the sound waves turn red and they get a little dangerous and if you're using miss chalice you don't even have to do that but hey guys this is the Mugman nation not the miss chalice army so we only use Mugman around here so that's not an option and then the phase change will happen and remember to get a little damage off on the snail when he's revealed in the hat it'll make the next phase a lot easier but don't worry it's really easy when you're using converge the ant eater will start trying to tongue you but you don't want to get licked it will hurt you so we're just going to converge all over his nose it's so convenient i can just stand in the middle and just shoot wherever i want it'll hit most of the time it does a great job at taking out the bug ball and that was the one thing that gave me trouble on expert and you should reach the final phase without issue and don't fall for that fake knockout guys and finish off that darn snail the last boss is our arch nemesis chef salt bake will we be victorious or will we get owned another first try in the bag dude let's go wow dude we're 15 minutes into the run and we're already on chef salt baker this is insane we have made it to the final boss of the DLC, the infamous Chef Salt Baker. I hate this boss. It's, 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 in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. It always gives me issues on these single weapon challenges. The first phase has him throwing anything and everything he has at you at his disposal. You got limes, sugar cubes, strawberries, little flame guys. It's hard to dodge everything, you know, and there's, and there's a lot of phases here. So getting to the final phase when you only have three HP is, is a challenge in my opinion. Oh my god. The second phase is also like it's it's annoying because there's just so much stuff going on. I feel like I have to full focus to beat this boss. I truly have to lock in, you know, enter my flow state. There's just so much going on. Only using one weapon is hard. Ah oh, that's hard. I was almost there though. I'm feeling good. I believe convergence is goaded, and I'm convinced this might be the most versatile weapon in this game just from this challenge alone. Let's do this, guys. I've slept on this weapon for too long. I hop right in for my third try. I managed to duck, dip, dive, and dodge my way through the first phase. Easy peasy. I make it through with three HP. No damage taken at all. I am off to an amazing start. I was really channeling uh, my, my mug man here, you know? I was, I was killing it. The second phase, I am gaming. I was truly gaming hard during this phase. I was dodging everything the salt shakers were throwing at me, and I was dodging all the leaves being thrown from above. Up. Nothing was going to stop me from my quest to beat Chef Saul Baker. But sadly, I do take damage during literally the easiest phase of Chef Saul Baker. But it's okay. We're going to the final phase with 2 HP. Let's see if we can do this. Stupid stupid damage i start my jumps and sadly i do take some early damage and you guys already know what the mantra is i have one hp and a dream this is all i have can i clutch it out Let, let's find out guys let's find out i mean if you're taking a peek at the video length right now to see if i clutch it or not spoiler alert i do in fact clutch it out i'm gonna just say it right now guys Convergence is goaded. I managed to beat Chef Salt Baker in only three tries on Expert with one HP and a dream. It looks like I found the kryptonite to Chef Salt Baker, which is just Convergence. Go use Convergence, guys. Let's go! One HP and a dream, baby. We beat the DLC in 26 minutes. Convergence is goaded, dude. It is way too good, man. This is the best weapon in the game. I slept on it for way too long. Converge, Convergence. I don't know why I keep calling it Convergence, but guys, Please go try this damn weapon out. Converge, baby. It's, it's, oh.
<sighs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. We only have a few weapons left. Once I beat the game with every weapon, I will be making a tier list video, guys. So, hey, wait on that. That'll be coming out sometime. I don't know when. I I'm working as fast as I can, guys. I love you, Mugman Nation. Like and subscribe. Peace out. Mugman Nation.